We're gonna do legs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, I'm up. It says my too tired to function sweatshirt. That's true. Ooh. We're gonna lower this guy. We had better looking days, my friends. All right. Better looking days. Papa car, mama car, Coda car. Officially made it out of the house. I could talk like a normal person and keys are inside. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Go to car. <laughs> uh, take two. Okay, we have two goals this fine morning. One, do not get peanut butter on the camera. Two, get thick like peanut butter. Hmm, peanut butter on Coda. Doesn't matter. Good morning. It is officially 4:37 in the morning. We got a 10-minute drive, roughly 10. We have legs. We're gonna do a little bit more of a posterior chain day. I'm gonna try not to do a whole bunch of talking as soon as I get in the gym because I want to get at it. But I am going to swing by the racetrack, which is probably one of my favorite gas stations to go to and get one of these new drinks. All right. Let's go. Now, who let me walk out of the house with a peanut butter covered waffle without telling me to grab something to drink? Oh, that's okay. We're getting it down, one battle at a time. Okay, so I don't really take the camera in public, but I guess I'm gonna have to get over that, so. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I did not walk in with, oh my gosh, I did. <laughs> I'm famous, Brittany. Um, uh, I gotta get there first, boo-boo. Oh my gosh. I'm getting us out of here. Oh. Hey, guys, welcome to Coda. Now, who let me walk out the car to go in the gas station with these on? You did, Dakota. Once again, you did. A lot of people ask me why I wear Converse. One, it's mainly on leg day, and then they're like, oh, well, all you do is like, no. I post about legs the most because I like legs the most. Am I going to be posting upper body workouts? Absolutely, I just got done recording one, actually. But the end goal is to not walk around looking like a cheese box. I want a slim thick, okay? I need a toned upper body. And that's thick. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, so the reason I wear Converse is it is a very flat footed shoe, not having a raised heel, and it's easier to be stabilized. So if there's more cushion on the heel than doing a squat or doing a deadlift, uh, there would be more body weight pressure on the toes, therefore activating different muscles. And then you would be more knee focused and using more so of your quads to squat than your hamstrings. So having flat-footed shoes on leg day helps you find your sense of balance. Or I simply like wearing Converse when I work out. So I'm gonna wear Converse when I work out. Luckily for me, the gym is 2.57 seconds away from the racetrack, so I just gotta go through this sketchy little alleyway, and then we're there. I don't know if I already said it, but I'm gonna try not to talk a lot. I don't know how I've done so far. I'm gonna get used to this, I am. I love talking to people. The camera is not people. The person is behind the camera. Dakota, you're talking to the person behind the camera. The person behind the camera. When you let me, baby, don't you see it? I'm shining. When you let me, baby, don't you see it? I'm shining. When you let me, baby, don't you see it? I'm shining. When you let me, baby, don't you see it? I'm shining. When you let me, baby, don't you see it? I'm shining.
Okay, now that we have the lower body warmed up, we're gonna do a little glute activation and then we're hopping into our posterior chain day. Okay, now that we have that nice glute activation done and out of the way, we're doing, remember, that's three sets of 15. You do not cheat yourself. The only person you're cheating is yourself. Uh, now we're gonna do 300 jump ropes, and then we're gonna get into some weights. Let's go. Okay, so my camera has one bar of battery left, so you're not gonna see me jump rope, but I think we all know what jump ropes look like. Mm -hmm. So, uh, note to self, you should charge your battery, uh, battery pack for your camera. And just like that, number three is in the back and done. Why did it take me so long to make a 10 minute video? It shouldn't take two years to make a 10 minute video, but slow and steady does win the race. And I pinky promise with you, I'm going to create and work on my consistency. I do think practice makes progress. It does not make perfection because perfection is unobtainable and uh, nearly impossible. <laughs> it is impossible. But I just want to let you guys know that that this is not only a journey for you, but most importantly, this is a journey for me. This is a lot of new things that I'm working with, but I want you to know that I am working on it and I have a bunch of stuff in store. And if you're willing to wait, hold on and work with me, then it's going to be an awesome journey that we're both going to experience together. I started this video getting out of bed and I'm ending this video getting into bed. So,
<sighs> it's Call Me Coda. We're killing it. I'll catch you later.